It's called space weather, and most of us don't worry about it much. It's what causes the beautiful auroras, after all. But there are people who do worry about it full-time. They're the forecasters at NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, Colorado. We're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're looking at data, we're looking at imagery, we're looking at model outputs. As conditions develop, we put out alerts, warnings, and watches of imminent activity to our customers so they can take action. Predicting space weather is a lot like forecasting hurricanes. When we see an eruption on the sun, space weather forecasters will issue a watch. We too can see way in advance that something may be coming towards the earth. That lets them warn industries that need to prepare, like the companies running our power grids. A big solar storm can trip systems offline, like the huge burst that blacked out parts of Quebec, Canada, and put 9 million people in the dark for 9 hours in 1989. Solar storms can also impact satellite systems responsible for GPS, and that just doesn't affect the navigation system in your car. It can interfere with worldwide flight and shipping systems, agricultural operations, and even deep-sea oil rig functions. Another space weather threat is communications failures, causing cellular and landline interruptions, and sometimes even taking down satellite and shortwave radio transmissions used for transcontinental airlines shipping, and emergency communications. So the next time you enjoy a warm day outside, keep your fingers crossed that it's not a stormy day on the sun. For Weather Nation, I'm John Van Pelt.